What is up, everybody? It is iTouchManiac25 here, and so I'm going to be showing you guys today what to do with our lens. Because I know that you guys all have a lot of lines from the feeding wheels, like eyeball things, whatever they're called. And they're getting pretty annoying just sitting in your chest. And so today we actually have a use for one. Uh, for them. So we're gonna have to come to this um, place where there's like these spikes and I'm not sure what it's called but if you guys know um, post post comment I'd like to know what it's called so I can never remember it um, but it's got all these like evil stone blocks and stuff that are really hard to take down but so we want to go find like we want to go in them and find one of these looking things um, I think normally if they hit you, they, you do, like, they do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, like that. So, don't do that, because I have really high life, and if I do that again, I'm dead. So, um, what these are, they're called demonic altars, and they kind of work as a uh, workbench. So, we want to go ahead and hit our escape, and what we're going to need is we're going to need 10 lens. So... Um, what we can do with 10 lens is we can make a suspicious looking eye. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so now that we've made our suspicious looking eye, we're pretty much all good. Um, so, um, normally, or what this eye does is, this eye is used for summoning the eye of, um, I think it's pronounced Cthulhu? Um, it's a boss, it's a giant eyeball, um, and it's crafted at the demonic demon altar, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, for 10 lines, and you can only, su you can only successfully summon the boss during the night. If the eye is used during the day, nothing will happen. Um, using a suspicious looking eye, well, the eye of Cthulhu has already been summoned by another suspicious looking eye will result in the player's immediate death. However, using the suspicious looking eye during a natural occurrence of the eye of Cthulhu, such as holding the water candle, breaking a shadow orb, or killing 20 plus demon eyes, will, uh, will result in fighting up to four eyes of Cthulhu simultaneously. So, um, yeah, definitely don't don't use two of these, that won't end well. But, if you get a normal eye of Cthulhu, then you guys could get four of them, that'd be making a really cool video. Um, I'll try and do that sometime, but, um, right now I'm going to change the time. So, let's see, we want to go to, what is it, let's go dusk, and goodbye, silver thingy. So, go back to our spawn, and let's summon an eye of Cthulhu to end this video. So yeah, just to show you what this is, um, this giant eyeball is going to come after me, or it should. Yep, hello eye of Cthulhu. I'm going to kill you with my water gun. Yeah, that's right. How does it feel to get water in your eye? I hope you like it. Why am I using this? Do the stone block. Yeah. Ooh, he's coming for me. I'm scared. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Um, hope you enjoy enjoyed this. Um, now you have a use for your lens. You can summon these guys and have a monster party. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.
Ugh! <laughs> 